Hello, I'm here with Ms. Thompson at Como Park Senior High School. She is one of the autism teachers, and I'm doing my interview with her. So, Ms. Thompson, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, certainly. Um, I have been a teacher now. I think this is my eighth year. I'm a second a career teacher. Before that, I worked with the elderly and nursing home management, and I love uh, advocating and helping students on the autism spectrum learn and be successful at school and life. And can you tell me what are your career goals as an autism teacher? Just to help each individual student be successful. What does this program do for students with autism? It gives them a place to where they belong. It gives them a uh, a place where they can work on their social skills and their academic skills. It's a place where they not only have their own space but also belong to the larger community of Como Park Senior High School and it prepares them for life after high school. How effective has this pro has the program been in the last five years? This is just our second year at Como. Um, we were new as a federal three level program, meaning kids who have the most needs, the kids who might not necessarily do as well out in the mainstream setting, then they become along to a federal three setting. And it's just been here for two years. You know, I'll never say my program is as successful as it could be because it is such a large learning curve as a teacher and each individual student is so unique and so deserving of so many different strategies that I'll never be able to say my work is done or it's never as where I have a very high bar set for myself. What are, uh, what is some of your most common forms of autism that you have worked with? Well, in order to be, have special education services for autism, you have to have um, three main characteristics. Um, impairments in social interaction, language and social communication, and then some type of stereotypical re um, repetitive behavior or sensory need. So those um, students who have an IEP, an individual education plan that stands for IEP, for autism or ASD, have at least two of those three characteristics. And, um, and I know you probably said this already, but can you tell me the name of the program? Well, now they call it in the St. Paul Public Schools is the Specialized Services. Um, and I call it um, Autistic um, Spectrum Disorder Services, or ASD. How does this program operate? Well, um, students are placed here um, based on where they live in their neighborhood, if they meet criteria, and then they receive as much of their academics as possible in the mainstream general education curriculum with support from um, myself and paraprofessionals. And if they can't manage out in the mainstream setting, then it's my job to teach anything, sometimes all core content of reading, writing, math, and science, and social studies, as well as health, life uh, applications. Um, we do a lot of community-based um, work training types of things. So it's kind of more like a school inside of a school. It's more of a grade school setting for some students where they get all their subjects taught by the same teacher. Can you describe to me on a typical day what goes on in the classroom? Oh, I don't think there's a typical day. <laughs> um, but on a typical day, we, I think, are just like any other students. We 
have our breakfast and we greet each other and try to be good people and do our work and have fun and I say every day we're going to read, we're going to write, and we're going to have a good time. The school has to be fun for students to want to be here. What is the difference between being a special education teacher and a education assistant? Well, special education teachers are responsible for lesson planning and ensuring that evidence-based practices for students with disabilities are used in the classroom. What made you decide to be a special education teacher? Honestly, I, I loved my former career in healthcare management, um, but I had my own children and I was so grateful to those teachers for teaching my kids. I could see, you know, the joy they had in learning and the impact that these teachers had on my own children's life. And I thought, I want to do that for other parents. I want to do that for other kids. And then there was a very um, minimum amount of special ed teachers available for urban schools such as St. Paul. And I wanted to help kids in urban schools. What is the graduation rate for students in the program? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, my kids will all graduate. I feel it's, I haven't succeeded if my kids are not passing. Then I need to change what I'm doing. A D for a student in my class means I failed. So my students will graduate. I don't know what the district-wide graduation rates are for children with autism. Oh, what is life like for some after high school? You know, I can't answer that because I haven't gotten that far in my field. Um, I have an interest in trying to help adults on the spectrum, but right now I'm focusing on my career in the education system. Are any of those students able to have a job? Oh, most definitely. But it might be a job with support. Um, it might be just a vocational kind of trade job. Um, but definitely the goal is that they want to become productive members of society and make their wages and pay their taxes and live on their own and get married and have children and do everything else that anybody else would want to do. What needs are most important for these students? I think people need to accept who they are and believe that they can be successful and to find each strength in those students and then learn how they can develop that strength into being a lifelong contribution. What do you think is the most important thing for people to know or understand about teenagers with autism? I think what's most important that people know is that we learn our social skills by practicing and being with other people. And so we need to provide as many opportunities for teenagers with autism to be in social situations. We don't want them to be isolated behind an iPad screen or an Xbox or a Wii console. We want them to be interacting. We want them on sports teams. We want them in extracurriculars. We want them in regular education settings because we have to... We're only going to achieve what we set out to achieve, so we have to keep those expectations high. That was my last question. Thank you for your time. Thank you. It's an honor.